my name is Winston Schneider, and today we're going to be learning about chord inversions. First, let's start out with a simple basic C major chord. The notes that make up the C major chord are C, E, and G. This is what they sound like all together. It's called C major chord root position. So back to our simple basic C major chord. Take this C away from the C major chord, so we're only left with these two notes. E and G. Back to the C we stole from the root position C major chord. Flip this C an octave higher. So we're left with a C major chord that's not root position. It's called C major chord first inversion. The notes that make it up are E, G, C. This is what they sound like all together. Now back to our basic C major first inversion chord. Take this E away from it so we're left with these notes G and C. So now and flip this E in octave higher, so we're left with this chord. That's not first inversion or root position, it's called C major chord second inversion. This is what they sound like all together. The notes that make up the C second inversion C major chord are G, C, E. Let's write that down. But when will we go back to root position? This next chord is root position, only an octave higher. Because flip this G right here, so we're left with this chord. C major chord, root position, an octave higher of where we started. You can even go backwards with these. So now we're gonna move on to a different type of chord, a seven chord. We're gonna do it with a basic with a basic C7 chord. The notes that make it up are C, B, e, G, and B flat. This is what they sound like all together. And so now, we're gonna write that down. And the way you make a letter flat is, is just put a little tiny line, then a little like sideways rainbow on the line. That's how you make a flat. And that's how you flat a note. So back to our C7 chord. We're gonna invert this one. Take the C and flip it an octave higher like this. Whee! So now it's over here. And this is what we call C7 chord first inversion. So now back to our basic C7 chord first inversion. Flip this E over here. And now we're left with C7 chord second inversion. The notes that make up this chord are in the order of G, E flat, C, E. Now back to our second inversion chord of the C7 chord. Take this G 
and put it right here. So now we're left with this chord, which is called C7 chord third inversion. Third inversion can only happen with seven chords, never three note chords, only seven chords. It seems like it'll take forever to get back to our root position. No! Our root position chord is the next chord of the C7 invertings. So flip this B flat right here. So you're left with your simple C7 chord where you started only an octave higher. We're going to review a three note chord with a different chord. It's called the G major chord. This is what the root position sounds like. The notes that make it up are G, B, and D. This is what they sound like all together. So now we're going to invert this. So take this G and flip it over here an octave higher. You're left with this chord, which is called G major chord first inversion. And what's a really interesting thing is have this G major chord go back to C major first inversion. It has the same fingerings. Back to our first inversion G major chord. Flip this B over here. And now you're left with this chord, not first inversion or root position, but second inversion for G major. So, and what's another funny thing is go back to this C major second inversion they have the same fingerings that's what's funny about both of them and then flip this o d over here so we're left with this chord g major root position only an octave higher than we started. Let's write all that down. And that is all we're going to learn for today.